The Book of Acts was written by the physician Luke sometime between 58 and 65 AD. It is the continuation of Luke's Gospel account to Theophilus, detailing the work of Jesus and the Apostles after the resurrection. After Jesus commissions the disciples to go into all the world, he promises that God's personal presence will come in his place to transform their hearts and empower them to be effective witnesses of the gospel. While the apostles are celebrating a festival in Jerusalem after Jesus' ascension, God's Spirit comes over them like fire, just as his presence had filled the ancient Israelite tabernacle. Emboldened by the Spirit, the disciples share the story of Jesus with the multi-ethnic audience at the feast, who hear and believe in Jesus Christ. From here, the disciples preach daily in the temple courts, reaching thousands of people who respond to the message of Jesus. Groups of followers start to gather in their homes, practicing Jesus' message of radical love and generosity. The Jewish religious establishment resists this revolutionary movement, citing Christianity as a dangerous, deviant act of rebellion. The persecution results in a mass departure of Christians from Jerusalem. It is this exodus that sparks the transference of the gospel past the walls of Jerusalem to the non-Jewish people in the surrounding regions, just as God had always intended. Saul, a persecutor of Christians, is changed after an encounter with the blinding glory of Jesus, becoming a passionate advocate for the gospel. Having received the new name Paul, he travels to Greek and Roman cities, challenging their social values by teaching equality among men and women, slave and free alike, and loyalty to Jesus alone as the one true God. Paul plants churches along his travels, but is repeatedly imprisoned for his gospel witness. While enchained, God uses Paul to write letters of encouragement and edification to new churches all across the world. These letters would later become the scriptures for generations of Christians to come. In the book of Acts, we see the sovereignty of God on display as he uses the persecution of his people to advance the gospel throughout the world.